Hello everyone, I'm Stephanie from William B. Harlan Memorial Library. And today I wanna to show you another cool craft I found on Pinterest that I wanna share. These glittery book page leaves. Look how cute it is. These are very unique because you can decorate these now for fall or you can do them for Christmas. And let me show you one thing that you can do with these. You can get just a plain stick tie some jute string and at the end attach your leaf with a clothespin so you will not have to put a hole in your leaf and just hang this up. I'll put my clothespin right here and attach it just like this. See and then you can hang this up. Of course you want to add more to it but this is a start. So to get started with your leaf, I'm gonna tell you what you'll need. You will need some old book pages. I keep an old book that I use for crafting, so I tore some of the pages out of it to do this craft with. You will need, of course, some Elmer's glue. Now, I like to use the clear. You'll need some type of ink pen or tracing pencil, just whatever you have on hand. A pair of scissors. Of course, some very loose glitter. And you will need some uh, leaf templates and uh, I just printed some offline and cut them out and then you'll also need some parchment paper to lay your leaf down when you work with it. So first things first we're going to take the book page. I'm going to put my leaf template down. Now I've got three different types of templates that I have used for my leaves if you can see. I'm gonna use this one. You're just gonna put it down here on your paper and you probably wanna put it where all the words are to make it look like a book, more like a book page. And you just trace the leaf with your pen. Now I like to use the pen better because it does show up better than a pencil, but sometimes you can just use whatever you need Go around the template and see what I've done. Then I'm just going to cut it out. And if you still have a, show a little ink on the edges, that's okay because we're going to cover that up with glitter. And of course, I love this leaf because it's almost the shape of a heart. Now, you're going to get your parchment paper, lay it down, and then lay your leaf here in the center, or just whatever, wherever you need to, so you'll have enough room to work. Now, you're going to take your glue and make sure to trace just the out outer part of the leaf with your glue. You have to keep it steady. Now that's the challenging part of making this leaf. And now you wanna to try to stay on the edge of the leaf. If you can, you don't want it all on the parchment paper. You, you're gonna want it on the leaf. Then when you get your glue, traced around the leaf. You're gonna take your glitter and just sprinkle it on the leaf. And shake it up a little bit. I'm gonna turn this around so you can see it so I won't get glitter everywhere, but see, there you go. See how neat that is? And now, another thing about this craft, you do have to patiently wait to let these dry. And now, I have used the glitter glue with these, but that takes a while to 
dry as well. You can use the glitter glue, but I like using the glue and the glitter the best. So after you get finished with this, try to you can try to save the rest of the glitter for later for another project. Just keep it here in the parchment paper. And then next, I've got some more leaves that I have done. When it does get finished drying, you just peel it gently off the parchment paper. You have to be very, very easy, but it will peel off. And there you go. Look how cool it is. And then like I said, you can um, hang it up with some string and clothespin to a stick. That'll be awesome. Or you can use these as ornaments on a tree. Just whatever you wanna do with these. But I hope you all get to make some of these. They're very fun. And thank you for listening and be safe.